think digitalization is an, it's the next step in the evolution of renewable energies. It will help us to bring, to collect more data from the plants, to bring the new business models to come into eras where we are, we are, don't think about that. It's, uh, I think it's a very exciting and interesting uh, future waiting for us and uh, I think digitalization brings a lot. And um, also to run the plants better, to sell the energy better, to bring the plants, the renewable energy plants into a new dimension of communication with uh, consumers, grid operators, and the producers. So it's somehow closing the loop uh, in the energy uh, value chain because then you can use the data which we are collecting from the, uh, the plants itself up to the energy trading and then back to the plants uh, when for example we are developing new plants and we are building up new plants we can use the learnings from, from the let's say, end of the chain in the oil and energy trading up to building up new concepts uh, on site. Yeah, I think so. Learn from the past to get better in the future. Correct. Of course, it's very important. Uh, digitalization means I need a reliable and secure data transport from the plant to my computers. Otherwise, it's only just the halfway. Correct, and to be sure that also that data is consistent, it's, it's really yes. the data which uh, we of need from, from that plan is not altered by external uh, yes. factors. When the wind could talk, this is, uh, would be very great when our turbines can uh, call us and uh, give us a lot of information. Um, they do that right now and we are collecting a lot of information, not only wind direction, wind speed and the production. Uh, it's a lot of more of information that we are collecting right now from the turbines, from each turbine, from whole sites and also from meteorological um, services and so on and aggregating the data. But um, can you explain us uh, what is the benefit for the plant owner? Of course, all these informations are super relevant for the operational uh, managers, uh, but uh, the customers, they can come up from different fields and then, of course, uh, there should be a digital uh, platform which uh, would aggregate all this uh, asset information in an intelligent way and merging together the operational data with the financial data and then, of course, displaying and offering information to the customers uh, not just about the production of the plant, but uh, also about uh, how that production is translated into a financial figure, mm -hmm. uh, which is relevant for, for that customer. And then based on that uh, data, they can get uh, business decisions in place on mm -hmm. how to operate further or how to invest uh, further into, into that uh, plant or into the renewable sector. So like an upgrade of the plant or maintenance at the right time. Exactly. And mm -hmm. also using all the information in one place, uh, operational and financial, then you can get the, the tipping point where, for example, you have mm -hmm. to get an action mm -hmm. in place uh, to upgrade or to replace or to repower that, so that plant based on mm -hmm. uh, all that historical data, financial and operational one. So it's one point, one single point of uh, data source that helps the customer to make the better operational decisions for his yeah. plant. Uh, a smart decision uh, smart by driven by the data. Mm -hmm.